uh, no real secret that men and women have always had different views on dating, sex, relationship, but the pressures of modern life are starting to blur those lines a little bit. According to a recent survey from AskMen.com and Cosmopolitan, Cosmopolitan.com, uh, relationship expert Matt Titus, Cosmo executive editor Nicole Bieland, hit the streets of New York to get a little reaction. Did you know that only 20% of women are sexually satisfied in their current relationship? Only 10% of men are satisfied. Why are any of these people in the relationship that they're in? If you're not satisfied sexually, you shouldn't be with your partner. So in the survey, 48% of men said that if their girlfriend was to gain too much weight, they would dump her. Now only 20% of women said the same. I believe that. You've gained a few pounds. I'm still yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter how she looks, you know, she could be three, four hundred pounds. We're gonna talk. <laughs> I wouldn't go right to dump. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't do, go that fast, but I might, you know, give a little nudge. I mean, we'd probably like just go work out a lot together. Yeah. What is it? Why do guys fantasize about their girlfriend's friends? We're in heat. 67% of men said that they have, at one time or another, fantasized about one of their partner's friends. Woo! Mm, I think... <laughs> I can't, I can't. You can't think of any of my friends, is that what you're saying? No, I can't. I can't. I, I don't want any of her friends to be mad at me. <laughs> Would you fantasize about his friends? Yes. Being with somebody doesn't mean that you have blinders on. It just means that you're not going to act a certain way. But fantasies are fantasies. So do you feel like it's natural and healthy to have these fantasies about your partner's friends? Yes, I think monogamy is already a special thing with a lot of hard work. So if you have a few fantasies here and there and it spices up your sex life, why not? Joining us now to spice things up a little bit here, just a, just a touch, <laughs> Nicole Beeland and Matt Titus. So many places we could wander. Wow, I know. Um, all right, so let's focus on this. Maybe we'll start with this. So, so we heard 67% of men, 33% of women say they fantasize about their partner's friends. Nicole, first of all, do you believe those numbers are accurate or, or are men just being more honest? I think that it's accurate that more men than women will fantasize about their partner's friends. Although I do think women are so discreet and careful that we lie even when we talk to. They're better sneaks. Women are better. much better we sneaks are. than men. We're, we're both those careful. numbers are too low. Liars. They're both higher. We're more protective both? of our Both higher. Are you kidding me? The, the, For men, I would believe they were higher. For women, that, I don't do you think, think so. monogamy, Not higher than 30 Do you think that monogamy is a natural state of man? Do you think that we're supposed oh, to be with no, one woman? Matt, we're That's not, why we are not having this conversation. This That's here. why. Yeah, now, listen, it's very hard. It, you know, we run around the city in where we live right now, fantasizing so all the know. time about other women than the ones that we are with. It's very difficult. Marriage is basically a morality cage for men. But here's the Oof. thing: to fantasize about your your spouse or your partner's mm -hmm. friends is a completely different place than I saw a hot girl walking down Fifth Avenue. I think it's because, a gateway. No, every single time you fantasize about somebody who's in your social circle, you feed the real life attraction. And women, I think we know that that's dangerous. It's and emotionally so based. When I fantasize, I self-censor. If, if my mind wanders someplace that I know it shouldn't go, I give myself a mental slap, I change the storyline, and I go really? somewhere well, else. I, you know, you stick to strangers, celebrities. I go to a private Safe place people. and keep it going <laughs> because it's very <laughs> interesting to me. <laughs> Um, let's, um, <laughs> Matt, let's talk nice about... Matt, it's nice to have you back. I'm just <laughs> telling you. I mean, it's come been on, let's so be long. Let's be, let's be honest. He's, he's being honest. You have to appreciate I the honesty. Uh, let's talk about social networking, because it plays a big, obviously Absolutely. a big role as well. Uh, so 68% of men say they're okay with a significant other friending an ex on Facebook. Only 38% of women are okay with that. Another big gap. Yeah. We don't care. We can't pay attention to detail when we're in a monogamous, redundant relationship with the same woman. Do you really think, do you think, do you think we care what they're doing? You are so inspiring Do you think we care what they're doing? Seriously, think about it. Do we, do we, we're I not going to be men, worried men about that. Men are a little bit more cocky, a little. Men are extremely cocky when it comes to thinking, oh, nothing's going to harm this relationship. Because we're the man. We're married. Everything's yeah. going to be fine. Women, I think, are more aware of how fragile fidelity is, and we're more careful with it. And so when we see, I mean, when is my it cool husband friended exes? My husband friended a couple of exes, and uh, the first time I saw it, something came up in me. I freaked out, and I defriended both of them. Really? I've seen. <laughs> and then my... I had to apologize Did you hack? for it. You hacked into his account? I didn't hack it. I know his passwords. I've seen my wife ex, like my wife's that. exes, I, I and I don't care. For really? It. It was definitely a bad <laughs> my wife exes are hideous, so they they can friend oh, each other all day long. One thing, one thing I love that never changes. You're very confident. Thank you very much. I work on that daily. Or insecure. Matt Titus, Nicole Beelett, always a pleasure to have you guys here. 
Everyone at home, discuss amongst yourselves.